Good morning guys, I hope you're all doing well. My name is Lilia and thank you so much for tuning in to my new LA Diaries. And this is my very first LA Diaries that I'm filming now that we are in quarantine. I've mentioned it in the other videos that I've posted recently, but I just can't believe that we are going through something so like almost dystopian as a pandemic. And I just really hope that your family, your loved ones, your friends, and you are all safe. Um, you're staying at home. I am definitely staying at home. I'm just going outside to get some groceries um, and, you know, get some fresh air. But other than that, I am staying put. It's definitely been quite challenging doing this quarantine, living on my own, having no roommates, no pets, no family <laughs> close by or anything like that. Um, yeah, it just kind of hits differently if you do a quarantine 100% alone. So if any of you guys are also living by yourself, like not close to any friends or family, then know that we're in this together and I'm here for you. And, you know, if you ever feel like you need to talk or hang out with someone, um, like virtually hang out, uh, know that my DMs are always open and I try to respond to as many as I can. And yeah, let's just make the best out of it. That's at least the mentality that I'm going to, you know, hold on to. I'm quickly going to make my bed and after that I'm going to have some coffee and some breakfast because I am hungry. <laughs> Track suits and red wine, movies for two, we'll take off our phone and we'll turn off our shoes we'll play nintendo though i always lose cause you'll watch the tv while i'm watching you there's not many people i'd honestly say i don't mind losing to but there's nothing like doing nothing with you. During conversations, you lose track of time. If I told you lately, I'm grateful you're mine. We'll watch the notebook. For the seventeenth time, I'll say it's stupid, but you'll catch me crying. We're not making out on the boat in the rain when the house I painted blue. But there's nothing like doing nothing. So I quickly cleaned my room. It is looking so nice and organized and neat. And uh, now it is time for some breakfast. Um, by the way, quick PJ of the day <laughs> or comfy outfit of the day. Um, I'm wearing this very soft um, cropped sweater from Ala Yoga with a matching bralette. And my shorts are from Princess Polly. So yeah, super soft and cozy material. I will have linked it all in uh, the description box down below. I quickly wanted to show you some of the new pieces that I received from Ana Luisa. And this part is also kindly sponsored by Ana Luisa. I'm one of their ambassadors and I work with them now for, I think, about one or two years. It's been a long time and I genuinely love their brand. I wear their pieces in pretty much every video because all the rings I wear are always from Ana Luisa. Um, my necklaces that I'll put on in a bit and show you are also from Ana Luisa. It is a New York based brand and you guys know I love New York. <laughs> It is the city that made me fall in love with the US. Also, their jewelry is super good quality. I've had these pieces for such a long time now and they still look brand new and I wash my hands a lot, especially now and my rings do get wet, but they are still looking beautifully. Also, their jewelry is really decently priced, especially for the good quality you're getting. And all their jewelry is also ethically sourced. So for example, they recycle a lot of gold and silver when creating their jewelry. And also their whole production and 
supply chain is ethical so i am very proud to be working with a brand um that is trying to make this world a better place while making you look more beautiful <laughs> with that being said let me quickly show you the three new pieces that i picked out the first piece that i picked out are these um gold medium size hoops and i got these hoops because i actually have the bigger version too these are the large hoops and these hoops look beautifully on their own but i feel like they're sometimes a little bit so much whenever you're wearing them with for example uh, some more necklaces so that's why i wanted the smaller size so i can pair it with um, more statement necklaces so that's my newest addition next up is this beautiful gold pendant necklace with i think it is a mother of pearl detail very very beautiful it is quite long so it's perfect to layer with shorter necklaces um, which I'll show you in a bit actually because um, yeah I have some other necklaces that I want to show you and all together they look super cute and last but not least I have this set of three necklaces so these are three separate necklaces but they uh, come as a set so they're kind of pre-styled which I think is great because sometimes it can be quite hard to layer and find the perfect necklaces that look good together so I actually really like this set it comes with this um, pendant necklace that has kind of this coin uh, detail and then two chain necklaces which I'm super excited about because this is what really has been missing from my collection of necklaces so these are all the necklaces styled together and I think it looks super cute even with a casual top like this so if you want to pick up any of these items then I have a discount code for you guys if you use the code lily like 10 you will get $10 off your order so happy shopping to all of you <sighs> time for breakfast and my kitchen right now is a really big mess so before before we're going to make breakfast, I'm going to quickly clean. Um, I'm going to set the timer on my phone for 10 minutes. Uh, you guys know that is one of my go-to ways to ensure that I keep my house clean. Um, I clean 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes at night, pretty much every day. However, last night I didn't do it because um, I was working on a video that went live today. It just went live. I'm so happy because I worked so hard on that video and it was also a blog post and a PDF printable which I never do but I thought you guys would enjoy it uh, if you don't know what video I'm talking about I actually filmed a what I eat in a day video also the breakfast I'm going to make today which is foamy oatmeal is going to be featured there um, so yeah if you want to know how I do that then definitely check out that other video I will have linked it right here and in the description box down below so you can read the blog post as well um but yeah i'm going to set my timer real quick and clean <laughs> The nigga that got body by Pusha T? The nigga that hiding his kid from the world, but his world wanna hide from the kid? Arby Graham in a wheelchair? Drake! Yes! Y'all niggas better stop playing with me. Stop telling me like I ain't teach Drake every day he know. You taught Drake everything he know. Y'all ain't hear Drake on his first song. I should be downtown whipping on the way. So I actually completely forgot that I did some meal prepping yesterday and I made some cauliflower gnocchi or gnocchi, I never know how to pronounce it, uh, with vegan pesto and zucchini and some lemon and I'm just going to add some cheese and I uh, eat that for breakfast today. Um, so no oatmeal but this is also super yum. And then I'm just quickly making my hot lemon ginger water and my latte. So bon appetit. Let's have some breakfast. Try with you. 
So, I just finished breakfast and I was actually planning on going to Trader Joe's but I feel a little bit tired because I had such a stressful morning getting my video, blog post and um, like social media stuff online so I decided that I'm going to the grocery store tomorrow and I'm just going to stay in today um, just because I think it's going to be better to go in the mornings, like early in the morning when uh, Trader Joe's first opens um, because I think right now most of the stuff will already be sold out and I kind of need a lot <laughs> um, so yeah I think uh, maybe tonight I'm going to do some um, takeaway, some delivery for food and then tomorrow I will um, do groceries and have enough in my fridge to actually cook but instead right now i'm going to take a little break from everything and just read i'm currently reading edgar Allan poe the paris mysteries this is um, my newest book that i have added to my collection i think this is either the first or one of the first slash most influential um detective novels i think edgar Allan poe is mostly famous for the fact that he created the horror or thriller um, genre, but he also wrote detectives, which is really interesting. Also, really quick side note, this is one of the new Supplied by Lily bookmarks and they come in uh, the bookmark set. We now have six different bookmarks and this is the luxurious uh, bloom print and I think it is so beautiful. And uh, yeah, we currently only have the bookmarks in it, um, but if you guys like this print, uh, I will definitely consider adding more items of this print into the collection. But yeah, quickly wanted to show you my cute bookmark that I've been using. So I finished doing some reading and I decided that I do want to get a little bit of fresh air uh, because the weather is so beautiful outside in LA so I'm just going to do a quick walk around the block. By the way, here in LA we are still allowed to walk around. All the hikes and parks and beaches are closed but we are still allowed to, you know, get some fresh air. So I'm quickly going to do that and drop off a return package that I have for uh, UPS. So I changed into some matching leggings from Alo Yoga. So this is the outfit uh, for today, just threw on a Levi's jacket and the rest is Alo Yoga as well as my um, Nike Air Force One Sage sneakers. So uh, yeah, now I'm quickly going to return that package and I'm also going to do my laundry uh, because I have lots of laundry to do and uh, yeah, get some fresh air. So let's go. Yay. <laughs> and checking this app called Citizen that is like a neighborhood watch and there were like a lot of issues with homeless people right now um, and I've noticed like a few homeless people around my neighborhood just like talking crazy stuff this is no hate towards homeless people I think it's horrible in what kind of situation they are right now but it does scare me a little bit having these guys right in front of my house 
so yeah just stay safe and stay alert and uh, I'm going to do a very short walk because yeah it's a weird time to be outside I right now left. she left I play her car for hell your phone lines dead nothing emptier than your promises nothing emptier than the lies you said nothing emptier than the hole in my chest nothing so guys i just finished doing some work and i wanted to have a little chat with you about everything that is going on because I don't know about you guys, but I am just very worried and anxious about this whole situation. Don't take me wrong, I am trying to stay as positive as I can um, because I do feel like a positive attitude, a positive mindset, trying to stick to a routine, some sort of routine, is for me personally, the way to go about it. But I do really feel um, worried and anxious about everything that is going on in the world right now with the pandemic. First and foremost, I'm just very worried about my family. Um, I don't even want to talk too much about it because honestly, just saying makes me want to tear up right now. <sighs> It's just really tough. And I know I'm not the only one in this situation. So that's why I'm sharing everyone that is studying, working abroad, not close to their family. You know, I feel you because I am going through the same thing and it is fucking tough. So, yeah, but we're all strong women and the few men that I have that watch my vlogs. Um, so we can get through this, but it's hard. Also, I feel extremely isolated being um, by myself in my own apartment, which is a blessing, don't take me wrong. I love the fact that I am privileged enough to have my own space where I can work and live from, but it is tough um, not having any social interaction whatsoever. Um, it really makes me feel lonely. Um, <laughs> And it just, I don't know, I love LA, don't take me wrong, I really love living in LA, but I was already struggling with feeling lonely in this city, and with this pandemic, I'm like, oh my god, how will I ever, you know, find friends, find a boyfriend at some point in my life, hopefully. Another thing that is as entertaining as it is annoying is that I've been using like dating apps like Hinge or Bumble and I just have so many messages from guys that I either met once and it didn't really work or I didn't even meet in real life that are all of a sudden sending me all these texts as if they cared about me saying like oh how am I holding up and if I need anything because they're able to bring me toilet paper or groceries just if I want to hang out with them or keep me company or cuddle with me and I'm just like yo what the hell do you really think that I'm going to hang out with a guy I've never met at my place or your place because there's no public spaces like cafes and restaurants right now that are open and just like do all this stuff during a pandemic hell no so you know it is kind of funny and entertaining to see how desperate men right now are for getting girls but it's just also really frustrating to me because i just feel like the audacity that men have to just completely ignore you know um all the 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 regulation all the social distancing and just meet you know random girls on dating apps for the sake of their needs i don't know there's just been a lot on my mind and i don't really know how to deal with the situation but i do feel like that in the end it is okay to not really know because no one knows what is going on right now no one has like a fixed plan for this situation so we're on this together and know that even though this is a very harsh wake-up call 
for everyone that we don't have that much control in life but in the end that doesn't mean that we don't have control over our own actions and thoughts no one of us would ever have thought that we would live through a pandemic yet we are all doing it right now however that doesn't mean that we don't have any control over our own actions because in the end we're all free human beings who are responsible for their own actions like Jean-Paul Sartre says Man is condemned to be free because once thrown into the world, he's responsible for everything he does. That quote just really reminds me that we have 100% control and responsibility over our own actions and we cannot blame it on anything else. Even if the whole world is uncertain, even if the whole world is going through situations we've never ever thought we would go through, we still have the control and the freedom to choose how we respond to those events so yeah hopefully that gives you a little bit of peace of mind hopefully this whole talk was not too depressing that's not why i wanted to share it it's more because i just want to show you guys that i am struggling going through this pandemic um not like it's easy or anything like that i also have my moments of darkness and and, and i don't know like sad feelings but um, hopefully, if you're going through something like that right now too, you feel less alone and know that it is okay, your feelings are valid. And of course, there is a lot of background noise. I opened a window for some fresh air and I don't want to close it, okay? I think it's gone now. But with that being said, I'm just going to order myself some takeout because uh, I am very, very hungry right now. And um, I think I'm just going to watch Ozark. Um, that's the series I've currently been watching. I've, I'm I'm watching the new season, and yeah, just chill, chill for the night. <laughs> so I got my food, got my Lysol, disinfecting all this before opening it. So unfortunately, they were out of risotto, so I got my go-to pasta, which is this um, whole grain. Uh, pomodoro pasta with some basil and garlic it's very basic but really good and i also got some tiramisu yay so excited for this so gonna eat this right now i come for help here for last day nothing's up to you hello guys welcome to a get unready so guys, it is now 11.45 at night. I use these simple cleansing wipes to remove like my first layer of makeup, if that makes sense. I like to do that because, I don't know, I just feel like it is nice to remove it with a makeup remover wipe and then I double cleanse. Now I'm going to first cleanse my face. Ooh using the Sly, Slay, Sly Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser from Drunk Elephant. Really like this stuff, especially because it has a little spoon. So what I do first is just massage it into my face so it melts all my makeup. And honestly, with the amount of makeup that I use, I also feel because I have a combination skin that can be oily, I love using an oily cleanser because I don't necessarily like to use oils as like a serum or stuff like that on my face. I feel like it's a little bit too heavy. All the and now it removes all the dirt. We're sticking to Drunk Elephant because I'm going to use the Besta Number no. Nine Jelly Cleanser as my second cleanser, and I'm just. Putting this on my face and a little bit on my Clarisonic. Uh, I'm going to use my Clarisonic Mia Smart, I think this is called. Yeah, Mia Smart. Um, wetting it a little bit. And then I'm just going to cleanse it. Now I'm going to quickly brush my teeth and after that I'm going to do my little pamper skincare routine. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I feel kind of lazy doing a whole mask because I have to remove it. Or even with a sheet mask, 
I don't want to put it on because then I have to still like remove it. I can't fall asleep with it. I have to struggle obviously only when it's very late, like right now. And I do want to treat my skin, but I don't want to have any problems with going to bed immediately. So in those cases, I love using an overnight treatment, an overnight mask. And Drunk Elephant actually came out uh, quite recently with this new F-Balm Electrolyte Water Facial. I, I think I'm just going to apply this and then I also have an overnight cream mask for underneath my eyes. So I think that's going to be the game plan. It doesn't look like anything, but trust me, I slathered it on quite thick. This would be a great mask if you're flying, which is something we all are not doing <laughs> anytime soon, but still. And then, as I already mentioned, I'm going to use the Elemis Pro Collagen Eye Revive Mask. This is also a new product that I received and I tried it out once and I already really liked it. So it is this kind of bright yellow eye mask and you can actually use it as an eye cream as well. But today I'm going to do an eye mask. Honestly, overnight masks are also so fast to do, so hassle-free, so it's perfect if you're kind of lazy like me right now. And now I'm just going to apply a lip balm. This is the Elizabeth Arden 8-hour cream lip balm, my favorite. Oh, I still have to get my laundry. Gonna quickly get my laundry, but I'm not going to vlog that. And um, yeah, call it a night. Promises. <laughs> Nothing empty than the lies you said Nothing empty than the hole in my chest Nothing's there So guys, um, I'm very comfy and cozy in my bed right now and uh, I'm going to go to bed because it is already very late I always really appreciate you guys liking my videos, my LA Diaries and if you don't want to miss any of my other videos, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. And um, yeah, with that being said, I hope you're all having a fucking amazing day. And I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye, guys.